Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jim Labuda here once again. Today we're gonna to take a look at the golf swing of Taylor Moore. Now Taylor's another first time winner on the PGA Tour this season. Captured the Valspar Championship this past Sunday, securing a one shot victory over Adam Shank. Now, Taylor played his collegiate golf for the University of Arkansas. So let's take a look at his golf swing and see what we can learn from this. Set up position, really, really good set up position here. Upper back's a little bit rounded up there, but again, that's okay. That's something a lot of players are doing these days. What I really want you to focus on is what his hips do throughout the takeaway. We talk a lot about sequencing the downswing properly, but you can't sequence your downswing correctly if you don't sequence the takeaway correctly. Now, what do I mean by that? As he starts rotating his upper body <clears throat> away from the ball, you can see his shoulders are definitely rotating but that lower body is really staying nice and quiet. So what he's doing here is he's creating that separation between his upper and his lower body. Too many times what we see with many amateurs and younger players today is the upper body, the shoulders, and the hips rotate this at the same time. They rotate the same amount. What that leads to is too much hip rotation at the top of the swing, which causes too much shoulder rotation and over rotation in the backswing an overswing basically, and you're not able to properly sequence the downswing because you can't separate that upper and lower body. So Taylor does a really, really good job here of separating that upper and lower body. You can see here, even as he starts getting to where the club's about parallel to the ground here, you can see his hips have really, really not moved a lot. Left knee has moved just a hair, but again, this is where his hips are gonna start rotating. Now we get to another checkpoint position that I love here, Left arm parallel to the ground. I love how the fact here that his hands are right in front of that armpit, so his hands are not getting too deep in the swing. But the other thing is, look where the grip end of this club is pointing. It's pointing right directly at the golf ball. Too many times in this position, we see the club either in this position, or worse, we see it too flat and too laid off going around you. So this is a really, really good checkpoint position to be in. Now, as Taylor gets to the top of his swing, Again, not a really long swing. You don't even see the club head here. It's in a really, really good spot though. But again, when we start sequencing the downswing, his shoulders have turned 90 degrees. Hips have not turned that far at all. This is the separation between upper and lower body that we need in order to sequence the downswing correctly. First move again is gonna be that left hip starts the downswing. But really what I want you to focus on from this point is how his shoulders remain nice and closed. His hips are opening relative to the target, but even here, you're gonna see that the shoulders remain nice and closed. Now he gets to the position here, shoulders are gonna be square. So this is the really, these are the positions you wanna be able to copy. Again, too many times people get to the top of their swing here and the first move they make is ripping their shoulders open so that by this time in the swing, when their shoulders are open like this, a lot of people are looking at this as being impact position puts a lot of stress on your lower body and your hands get caught behind you and that's the feeling of getting stuck. So if you want to avoid getting stuck in your golf swing, focus a little bit more about sequencing the swing correctly, but again, focus on sequencing the takeaway properly by leading with your upper body, then let your lower body go so that by the time you want to start the downswing, now you can properly sequence the downswing, get that lower body moving first, and then the upper body following after that. So at impact, you get nice and square, just like Taylor Moore is here.